challenging practice. Question one, we have two pipes over here. So one pipe is seven times as long as the other pipe. So we have two pipes over here. So the long one is seven times as long as the shorter one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So he cuts 2.2 meters from the longer pipe and the remaining length is three times that of the shorter one. So he cuts 2.2 meters and the remaining, let's look at this. So after he cuts 2.2 meters away, the remaining length is three times as long as the shorter one. So over here we have four units and 4 units is equal to 2.2 meters. Now we're going to do our math. So 4 units will be equal to 2.2 meters. So 1 unit will be equal to, we can do our math here. So 2.2 divided by 4, we can break 2 into 2.2 into 2 and 0 0.2. So 2 divided by 4 will be 0 0.5. 0 0.2 divided by 4. We can think of it this way. So 0 0.2 divided by 2 is 0 0.1. So 0 0.1 divided by 2 again will be 0 0.05. So this will be 0 0.55. Alternatively, the students can do it this way, the traditional way. So over here we have, we have 0 0.5. So 5 tenths will give us 2. And we'll leave with, left with two tenths. So in this case, we will have five hundredths. That will give us 0 0.2. So the answer is 0 0.55. So for question two over here, at a farmer's market, five pounds of strawberries cost $21.50. At a supermarket, three pounds will cost $15.75. So which is a better buy? So we can do our math over here. So five pounds will cost $21.50. So one pound will cost $21.50 divided by five. So similarly, we can do our math over here. So 21.50 divided by five. So let's do our math. So it will be 4.3. And next, let's find out our strawberries from this supermarket. So we have three pounds that will cost $15.75. And one pound will cost $15.75 divided by three. And that will give us, if you do the math, you give us 5.25. So, which is a better buy? So in this case, the one pound that sells for 4.30 will be a better buy, and that's for the farmer's market. So how much can you save by buying 20 pounds of strawberries? They are the better buy. So in this case, we have to take the difference. So 5.25 minus 4.30, so we have to take the difference and we can do the math at the side. So 5.25 subtract 4.430. So that will be 0 0.95. So if he buys 20 pounds, we have to do times 20. And how much will he save? So times 20, so let's times just two. So it'd be 190 if it's 10 pounds, so it'd be $19 when it is 20 pounds. Problem solving. Question one, Sam buys 10 oranges and 11 apples for $10.05. The total cost of one orange and one apple is 94 cents. So how much does an apple cost? So we know from here that an orange and an apple is 94 cents. 
So one apple and one orange is 94 cents. If you multiply by 10, 10 apples and 10 oranges will be 940. We know from the question that 10 oranges and 11 apples will be 1005. So writing it over here, 10 apples and 11 oranges will be $10.05. So if you, if you look at this carefully, we realize that the difference between $10.05 and $9.40 is just one orange. So one orange will be 1005 minus 940, which is $6, which is 65 cents. So to find the cost of one apple, it will be 94 cents minus 65 cents, which is 29 cents. Now for question two, for question two over here, we have a bucket filled with sand, has a mass of 11.15 kilogram. So this is a bucket, and then when it is filled with sand, it is 11.15 kilogram. The same bucket, when it is filled with water, it will be 5.95 kilogram. And we know from the question that the mass of the sand is twice that of the water. So, the mass of the sand is twice that of the water. So the difference here would be 11.15 minus 5.95. This will be 5.2. So this difference here will be 5.2 kilo. So if, and this is one unit, one unit, one unit, and one unit. So if one unit is 5.2, so over here we'll find the mass of the bucket in grams. So we know that the cost of the, the bucket, the weight of the bucket plus the weight of the water is equals to 5.95 kilogram. So it is written over here, when it is filled with water, the mass is 5.95. So we have to find the weight of the bucket we know the weight of the water is 5.2, since one unit is 5.2, and this is equals to 5.95 kilogram. So the weight of the bucket will be the difference between these two, which will be 0 0.75 kilogram. Question three. Total capacity of six pitchers and 12 glasses is 21 liters. The capacity of the pitcher is five times that of a glass. So we have a glass, that's one unit, and one pitcher has five times the capacity of a glass. So we have five units here. So over here, we're gonna write down what is written in the question. So six pitcher and 12 glasses will be 21 liters. So six pitchers and 12 glasses, 21 liters. We know from our question two that one pitcher is equivalent to five glasses. So one pitcher is equivalent to five glasses. So six pitchers will be equivalent to 30 glasses. So 30 glasses plus 12 glasses has a capacity of 21 liters. So 42 glasses has a capacity of 21 liters. So one glass will have 0 0.4 liters. Problem solving, question four. Over here, she has enough money to either buy six pairs and 20 oranges or 12 oranges and 11 pears. So six pears and 11 oranges, six pears and 20 oranges would cost the same as 11 pears and 12 oranges. We also do know that one pair would cost 80 cents. So if we have six pairs, it will cost 480. So we have 11 pairs here, 11 pairs. If each pair costs 80 cents, it will cost, 11 pairs will cost 880. And now we can draw our bar modeling. So 480 plus 20 oranges, 480 plus 20 oranges should cost the same as 880 and 12 oranges. So 880 and 12 oranges. And from here, we can tell that the difference between the two will be eight oranges. And this difference will be 880 minus 480, which is $4. So therefore, one orange is 50 cents.